Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is the update about the round 2, phase 2 and also what will be your approach for round 3, right? So the first update is on the seat can cancellation which is open now. So all the students who are round 1 GM candidates, round 1 GM candidates who have paid the fees earlier, now in this phase, in round 2, phase 1 counselling is over, you are now eligible to cancel your seats. So seat cancellation period is between 28th July to 1st August. So today is 29th July, so we have two more days if you want to cancel the seat for which you paid in after the round 1 counselling, you can cancel the seat. Second update is the for the supplementary candidates, right? So only supplementary candidates who have now verified the documents and their status is showing supplementary approved. Only those students will be able to participate in the round 2 phase 2 counselling. So that is important that you should have submitted your document. It's now supplementary approved. Third update is now the schedule of the round 2 phase 2. Many of you may know that choice filling for phase 2 of the round 2 will start from 4th of August to 6th of August between 3 p.m. to 12 p.m. Three days are given and after 6th August it will be closed. Choice filling will be closed and the allotment of the seat for the second round, second phase will be on 9th of August, right? So be, and you have to make your decision making between 9th August to 12th August and that time you have to pay the fees if you are making it the payment for the first time or if you have not got the seat in the round one. For the students who have already made the payment in the round one, they will not be required to pay any fees and only extra will be reflecting which they have to pay or if they have paid more and this time their fees pay is lesser then you will get refund at the later date. And third is the reporting to allotted college should happen between August 9 to August 14. So that is the completion of the second round, second phase counseling. So round two, phase two is basically for the general merit seats, right? Who are coming from the round one counseling. So who are eligible to participate in this is the if you are a general merit candidate who is not holding a HKR seat. So here also after the round two, phase two, you will have to make similar choices as you made in the round one. That is accept and freeze, accept and upgrade, reject and upgrade and reject and withdraw, right? Now regarding the cancellation of the seat or surrender of the seat, the students who have can now surrender the seat for the second time. After the first round, they were able to surrender and cancel the seat. After second round also, they are able to surrender and cancel the seat. And this is the last time you can do this. Now let's move to the round three. So the top line directly says the round three is only for general merit seats, right? So HKR seat student cannot participate in the round three. It's only for general merit seats. And who is eligible to participate in the round three? First A. A is the students who has been allotted a seat in round two. So if you are allotted a seat in round two and select accept and upgrade, you are allotted a seat in round two and select accept and upgrade or reject and upgrade during round two, then only you are eligible for the round three. Correct? Correct. Right? So there will be lot of students who has not who have not been allotted any seat in round one, but they are now getting allotted a seat in round two. So they st those students are eligible to do accept and upgrade as per the point number one and get into round three. Second is the participated in round two. Those students who have participated in round two but not allotted any seat since they have participated in round two and they may have would have also participated in round one but in both the rounds you have not got any seats so that's why you want to go for the round three and you are eligible to go the, to the round three based on the point b and the third is the student who are the supplementary candidate allowed to sit in the round three so supplementary students who are now allowed to sit in the round three they will have to mandatorily upload their 12th class step, su su supplementary mark sheet right so that you can sit in the round 3 so now if you see the point number 3 last point candidates who are in round 3 does not have any option to surrender their their seat 
and quit the counseling so now they cannot quit the counseling whatever seat they have got in the round three they have to accept it and they have to report to the college allotted right there is no choice of getting any type of you know refund or money back so that's a small update i wanted to cover on all the aspects